boys and girls, it's Miss Beth, and today is story time day. Whoop, dee -dee -doo, boop, boop, boop. Always an exciting day because I get to share some great stories with you. All right, today's great story is going to be a nonfiction book about goats, and then we're going to do a nonfiction guessing story after that. So, first, we're going to learn about goats, then, we're going to do a little guessing on what animal might be hiding in that book. All right, first is Goats, and it is written by Kate Riggs, and the publisher is Creative Education, Creative Paperbacks, and this is a seedlings book. All right, so these are goats. Do you know what a goat says? Bah, bah, like that, right? Really good. Can you do that with me? Bah, very good. Awesome. All right, goats. Hello, goats. Aw. Do you know what color that goat is? That is a white goat. Very good. All right. Some goats are farm animals. Other goats are wild. Groups of goats are kept on pastures. Hairy goats are many colors. They have white, brown, gray, or black hair. Some goats have spots or stripes of color. Goat's tails are short and point up. Goat's hooves have two toes. Most goats have two horns. So here's their tail and that's pointing up. Here are their hooves, two toes, and their horns right here on top of their head. One, two. Goats eat many things. They eat grasses and weeds. They eat woody plants and leaves. And if you go to the zoo or a petting zoo, they might eat your shirt. Sometimes they like to nibble on anything that you might be wearing. They won't really eat it, but they like to, they like to come and chew it. It's kind of funny. Baby goats are called kids. They drink milk at first, then they start eating plants. Curious goats climb everything. They try to get out of their pen or fence. Uh-oh. Goats. All right, let's look at the vocabulary words and see. Oh, first we're gonna look at pictures of a goat. All right, this is its hair. Here's its tail and its legs. And here are its horns and its eyes and its nose. And they have beards, some of them and their hooves. So do you see all those parts of a goat? Very cool. All right, let's now let's look at some vocabulary words. All right, words to know. Curious. That means wanting to know more about something. Hooves, horny parts of goat's feet and pastures. Lands covered with grass and other plants. And those are the words that we, we learned about today. All right, 
all about goats. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did. All right, let's move on to our guessing book. This is called My Claws Are Large and Curved. And this is a zoo's, a zoo clues book. And it's written by Jessica Rudolph. And the publisher is Bearport Publishing, New York, New York. All right, put your thinking caps on because we're going to see what has claws that are large and curved. All right. What am I? Look at my tongue. It's shaped like a V at the end. Look at that tongue. That's crazy. That's so cool. That tongue has, look at, it's shaped like a V. Hmm. That is a cool, cool tongue. I have two nostrils. So nostrils are what you breathe out of. One nostril, two nostrils right here. So they have two. They have that V-shaped tongue and two nostrils. Hmm. My tail is long and brown. Are you starting to get a, a, a little bit of a guess? I'm starting to get a little bit of a guess. This one kind of helped me a little bit, this picture. My legs are short and strong. Hmm. Animals that have short, strong legs. Hmm, there are a lot of those. Let's see, maybe the next picture will give us a big clue. Each foot has large, curved claws. Nope, that didn't help me so much. I have a guess, but I'm not sure it's right. Do you have a guess? Oh, ooh, you might be right. That's a good guess. Hmm. My mouth is wide and pink. What do you think? If you don't have a guess, that's okay. That's why we're here is we're here to learn what this animal is. I have a rough skin. It is scaly. Hmm. All right. I think it's going to ask if we know. What am I? Let's find out. All right, what do you think? Shout it to me. It's okay if it's not right, that is fine. That's why we're here, we're here to learn. No worries, if you got it right, awesome. Give me high five. Let's see if you're right. It is a, I am a Komodo dragon. Did you guess that? I did not guess that. I guessed a lizard of some kind, but I did not know it was a Komodo dragon. Did you know that? Sweet. If you didn't, again, that is okay. All right, let's find out some fun facts about a Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons are lizards. All lizards belong to a group of animals called reptiles. Like almost all reptiles, Komodo dragons lay eggs instead of giving birth to live young. Their bodies are also covered with scales. They eat deer, pigs, water buffalo, rodents, and snakes. They are about 10 feet, 10 feet long, including their tail. So from head all the way to this tail if it was out here. They weigh up to 300 pounds. They live up to 30 years in the wild. Wow, that is pretty old. And a Komodo dragon uses its tongue to smell food that is up to three miles away. That is a long, long way away. And they use their tongue. That is so amazingly cool. 
All right, where do I live? Komodo dragons live on a few islands in Southeast Asia. They are found in forests and grasslands. All right, so here. So those are fun facts. That one about the tongue is so, so cool. All right, I am, I am not sure if I said who wrote this, so let's go back and we will say who wrote this story. All right, this was called My Claws Are Large and Black by Jessica Rudolph and I think I did the publisher, Bearport Publishing. It's never, ever a bad idea to go over in case you're not sure if you remember if you did or not. All right, I hope you enjoyed that. I sure did, and I hope you also learned a little something too. My name is Miss Beth, and I cannot wait to share stories with you next time. Have an absolutely fantastical day.